Well, hello there. My name is CCR Chagra, and I am here to introduce you to a new open microphone hybrid system, a paradigm art project, and a living work of art. It is a platform for you to introduce, to share, or to express your contribution to humankind. The concept, in essence, is to be a benevolent one, one that exercises the art of free speech to be transcendent of malevolence, as in the principles of involvement number eight of nine. In order to bring this project to fruition and hand it over to humankind, to, to gift it to humankind as a work of art, it involves your participation in becoming a free speech member of this new open microphone hybrid system. Just as water levels life, the process of becoming a free member, participant, is about the equality of the agreements. Just as each is true to their own word in equilibrium. The process of gifting this to the world is a process that involves the beginning principles of involvement, a step-by-step -step participation and an increase in the number of people that are interested in participating in a living work of art. These are the beginning principles of involvement and there are paradigms to come. As art, the human room open voice is being created against the grain of that it is not familiar. There's no comfort in it's one of the same or another one of those. So I realize that, that what it is that I'm doing is giving you something that is different and asking you to be what becomes it. What is different here is to transcend the malevolent realities that dictate the systems we live in now as we exercise ourselves in the arts and humanities. These existing malevolent systematic realities have plagued the arts and humanities throughout time. The Human Room Open Voice Open Microphone Hybrid System offers us a place where we can transcend our id, our egos, and our self-defeating competition between each other. We divide and conquer ourselves, even within our genres and subgenres. As artists and humanitarians and free speech individuals, we always proclaim our personal aesthetic and we put that into our art and our work and our positions in life and our contributions to humankind. So the Human Room Open Voice offers a system where the arts and humanities can exercise itself, the being and becoming of human, the being and becoming of a work of art within a system that is in and of itself also a living work of art. Exercising my right as an individual to ask my peers, my fellow creative human beings, why would you not want to receive what is being given here? Where in, where in humanity is there no room for you to at least dip your toe into the waters of this creative idea that will be given to all equally? And if you yourself will not exercise the time it takes to look into this and, and to let it come into fruition, it's just art. It's not real unless you make it real. It's just a dream. It's not a reality unless we dream this into reality. And I will not be any one. I will be one of all. I will be gone someday. This is just, it doesn't matter if you or all artists embrace this or not. I'll finish the painting. 
I'll give it to the world. And if our generation doesn't accept it, maybe another generation will. And hopefully it's not too late when our conscious minds and our critical thinking and our need to be uh, stimulated and challenged by the arts and humanities and not simply become complacent and entertained by the programming that enslaves us and actually rapes art itself. Because that's where the money is. So I just want to thank everyone. My name again is CCR Chagra, and this is just another uh, calling or work of art that any and all artists do when they produce or create their next uh, contribution to, to life. Um, I don't know how much more transparent I could be with a, um, with a creative attempt to, uh, to just manifest a benevolent platform for the arts and for the humanities. And so here we are, the beginning principles of involvement. That's what you're being asked to agree to. You're basically giving your word saying, yes, I will be a human amongst humans. I am willing to do that. And it's in there. So you're basically uh, making a promise to yourself that you will be a human amongst humans and you this is your contribution to humankind transcendent of a benevolent reality that means it's not about you it's not about me it's about every individual saying this is the best i have to offer all of us and i am the one doing this and i'm willing to be wrong or i'm willing to be right but i'm not going to argue there's no line in the sand Everyone does their best. Win, lose, draw, or fail, there's no intent of harm. Yeah, I'll do that. And then you agree, and now you're a free member. And then if enough people do that, you have a platform that is yours. And it will be, the, and the design time that it takes to bring this to fruition simply is to bring into it the ecosystem which is also in the in the nine principles of involvement very simply and hopefully not too simple because originally there were 22 and then the whole idea of you have questions the idea of you have questions ask them ask them so the number one question i have is where on earth in a democracy in any social system are you free to be a human being and not be punished for what you think and feel as a contribution to all humankind because it goes against the grain that we are living within a malevolent reality and without an enemy without fear you can't function so where on earth are humans even allowed to be and become human? So one of the key ingredients to understanding that you're not free and that you're not even allowed to be human is whether or not you're allowed to ask a question. And it doesn't mean that you could ask the question and then somebody could tell you, okay, you asked your question, go away and not answer you. Or that your question is not allowed to be asked. There are plenty of ways in which questions are turned into uh, statements that are ignored or punished for asking. Demonized because you're not asking the right question. Because your question implies that you may be on one side or another. When simply, if there is no aim of harm, no intent of harm, then it simply does deserve an answer. You may not be right, but to be told to shut up or you can't ask, there's a difference there. So the very ninth principle of, invo of involvement, where you're willing to be wrong, is crucial to this working as a system that is self-sustaining. No one is here to draw a line in the sand and make one right and that's it no one else can be 
right, because you are, and therefore no questions will be allowed. Not at the human room open voice, not if this is what you want. It's a project, it's an idea, it's a gift. And then there is no, or I don't want to, or I'm going to sort of see how this goes first. I don't trust you. What about this? What you, Did you ask the question before you said no to something that's being given to you? Hey, here's some air. You can breathe now. I don't know about this air thing and this water thing. What about all this land? You're trying to trick me. I know that. What's in it for me? It's not about me. So here we come with the wrap up um, for this little what is the human room open voice. It's you. It's your art. You create art. Whatever medium or genre that you're in. And as this project launches, it happens to be in, in either live recorded or video audio form of your singing, your storytelling, your poetry. Uh, your musicianship, however it is that you present yourself as, at an open mic, your comedy, it, it's just simply in tandem with the principles of involvement to create the level playing field. And as it says early on, there's a line in there about the water level. I want you, I'm going to ask you to listen carefully to those few words. And that's it. You could be a nonprofit, you could be a community group. You could be an experimental art form. And herein lies the rub. You can be a free speech individual from anywhere on earth. And those of you that don't know that that means you could be risking your life speaking your mind. You're not even allowed to be told to shut up. You're already done the moment you have to frighten yourself and shut yourself up. So therein lies the art, the living work of art. Why would you not become a member of this? If you don't want to, why would you not share it with someone you know that is doing good in the world? And why would they not do this? Why would they not share it with someone else? Because competition is in the way. Because it's about me. It's not about me. Are we human? Are we failing as a life form on a planet? Because the systems that we live in dictate that we be inhuman by design. Because slavers need slaves. And slavers that don't even know they're slavers need to control reality, yours, and in denial that theirs is even in control. Are we human? Is there room for you to be human? And do you have a voice? Thank you.